Hello job seekers, Melanie here with CGL Recruiting. And today we're gonna talk about the importance of you as a job seeker having business cards. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, I do want you to please consider taking a moment, hit that subscribe button. And if you feel that this information is helpful as always, please give us a like and a share at the end. Now, let's talk about business cards and why I truly believe you should have them as a job seeker. I know it has been crazy difficult with all of this social distancing. And normally I would be saying, go to networking events, go to networking events, but it's been very hard because the ones that have occurred have mainly been online. Things are starting to open up a little bit and I'm seeing more and more in-person networking starting to occur in some locations. You need to get out to these networking events. Remember, the best place to find a job is through someone you know. Now, when you're going to networking events, of course, I want you to go to ones with other job seekers, but I also want you to go to ones that are industry and profession related, not just ones that are gonna be putting you with another set of job seekers. You really need to get out with other individuals who are currently working at different companies. So make sure you're balancing this. Now, why should you have business cards? Is it worth the expense? Here is why. When you are at these different events, hopefully you are going to be meeting a ton of new people. And can you give them a copy of your resume? You can, but it is awkward unless you're an actual job seeker at a job search type of event. So let's say that you are an engineer and you're going to the Society of Petroleum Engineers having some kind of in-person network event, or you're in the oil field and you're going to Oil Field Connections International to one of their luncheons. At one of those type events, having 50, 60 copies of your resume can be very, very difficult. But having a business card is a really small, easy way to still make sure you're getting your contact information to the person that you're wanting to know and consider you for jobs. And here's another great thing about business cards. People feel the need to give you one back. And especially when you're at an industry event or an event where you're maybe not just with other job seekers, this is a great opportunity for you to hand your business card and say, hey, I'd like to you know, share my business card with you. Do you have one to share with me? Sometimes you won't even have to say that. Many times it'll just be common nature and the person will automatically get out one of their business cards for you. And then you have their contact data and can follow up better. Now, what should you put on a business card that you're doing when you're a job seeker as opposed to when you're working at a company? Well, there are some individuals that tell you you should do things like QR codes. And if you don't know what a QR code is, it's that square that you see sometimes that you have to then scan your phone on. I am not a big fan of those. I want your information to be easy for the person that is getting the card to go back and look at without them having to go to additional steps of scanning it with a QR code and then going from there. So here's the information that I recommend you have on your business card. Now you should of course have your full name. You wanna have all of your contact data. You wanna have your email address and you do wanna have your phone number. For your email address, we covered this in some of our other videos, please make sure it is a business appropriate email address. Then, the other things that I recommend you do put a link on is you can put your LinkedIn profile and a link to your portfolio. Now, for those of you that actually have the ability to also put a link to a resume, you can choose to do that, but that's not the norm. Um, most people don't have that other access and can't put a link out there. So if you don't, don't stress about that. You can always attach your resume to your LinkedIn profile. And we do have a video that shows you how to do that if you want to. Um, the other thing is, remember, business cards can actually be printed front and back. So what you can choose to do is to put your contact information and your links on one side. And then on the other side, you can put information about you. You can put information, you know, I'm a mechanical engineer looking for whatever. I am an accountant considering positions in the following. This is a short amount of space available to you though, 
And just like within your resume, you don't want the reader to look at it and think, oh, too much text. But if there are amazing skills that you wanna highlight, you should do that and utilize a bullet format again to make it easy for the eye and the reader to move from bullet to bullet and capture as much information as they possibly can about you. Now, one other thing that I do like to include when you have a networking card or a job seeking business card is to have a headline very similar to what you would have on the very top of your resume or on your LinkedIn profile. And that is something that classifies you easily for the person who is looking at your card to remember, oh yes, they are uh, a supply chain person. Oh yes, they're an HR person. Now, this becomes a little bit more difficult when you are one of those people that is able to do lots of different things. Um, and you may not wanna just put yourself in one specific headline. So I realize there are some challenges for those of you that are really those uh, individuals with a very diverse background, but if you can, it is very, very helpful. And I also recommend on the networking business cards that you do put, if you have an MBA or if you have a GPHR in HR or something else, you do want to put those after your name. So, you know, when I do mine, it's Melanie Woods, SPHR, GPHR. For you, it may be, you know, whatever your name is, comma MBA. And that way you're getting another chance to make sure they realize what your expertise and education is on these cards. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is, well, two more things I wanna talk about. One of them is the colors. So yes, there is no doubt when you include some kind of color on your business card, it stands out more than others. And so if you are willing to spend a little bit of extra money, you can do this and have a, some type of color or something else. Do not be too far over in what we call artistic overindulgence on this. The point is for them to read your information on your card and to remember you. But if your information is hard to read because you've got it formatted this really funky way, or it's just difficult to read because there's too much going on, that's not gonna always necessarily help you. So it's okay to have something that makes you stand out. Some people do rounded corners or some people use different papers, but please know just a standard, regular, the cheapest business card style you can get will work. As a job seeker, you should be in cash conservation mode. So it's okay to at least get something rather than nothing. And then the last thing I wanna talk you, with you about is, it is really great if you are really gaming on with your job search to be able to adjust your business card for the different events that you're going to. So if you're going to an industry event, have some information there that's more specific to that industry, as opposed to if you're going to an engineering where it's more about what your degree is in. Um, it's definitely great if you can adjust these. And so I know a bunch of you are now going saying, Melanie, I can't go get business cards printed for every single event that I go to. I understand, and that's not what I'm telling you to do. But I will tell you that there's different ways to get business cards done. And I'll even, we'll link some, we'll pull some different things and link it down below in the description about different ways to do business cards. But one of the ways you can do it is print them at home. And these used to be really bad when you printed them at home because they had like the little lines on the side, the little dots where you were popping them out, but they are so good nowadays. And if you print them at home, you have the advantage of changing your networking business card when you want to a lot easier. So it's something for you to consider, especially for those of you that really do have more than one amazing specialty. So if you have not invested in these yet, I do recommend it. I will get you some really cheap links down below because it is not expensive at all, I promise, to get a ton of business cards printed. So that way, when you are at those networking events, you are making the most of them. All right, job seekers, keep gaming on. That right job is out there for you. We're gonna keep releasing videos um, to make sure that we're getting you as much data as we can and our live events are coming soon. So I look forward to seeing you guys all in the live events and I will see you next time.